In this video, we will discuss nested function, non-local variable, closure, and why we should use closure. So before we get to these things, let me write a simple function. It's func1. I'm declaring a variable 10 and I am printing x, the same variable. Okay. So let me execute this now by writing this. So by writing func1 parenthesis, I'm basically executing this function. So when I do that, all the expressions and statements within this function will get executed. So I'm getting 10 declared and printing. So far, so good. Assuming that, next, if I have something like this, I define func2 and try to print x. Okay, so what is happening? So far as this is concerned, function 1 is concerned, I have x within it, it will print. But when I try to execute function 2, since x is not declared inside this, it is declared inside function 1, not under function 2, it will give me error. So let us see that. Func 1, let me, okay. So there is a syntactical error here. Okay, let me execute this. Okay, now here, func1 it executed well but here if i write func2 it will give me error it says that name x is not defined what is happening the scope of x the scope of x is within this function within this function it is not beyond this particular function so what is happening when function2 is trying to access this x it is not able to access it However, if I modify this, if I write the same thing, something like this, what I will do here, I will bring function 2 within the scope of function 1. Now what happens? Let us see. If I execute this, then what will happen? Now I have to write something like this, function 2. Here itself I have to execute. Why? Okay, let us try to execute outside that. Now I say function one. What happens? It has printed 10. Why it has not executed function two? Because I have not executed that. I have simply defined it. I should execute this as well. So what I will do? I will write this particular function within this. So what happens? I have defined this function. I am executing exactly the way I have defined X and I am seeking X print command is seeking the value of x. So it is doing, it is printing. Likewise, I am defining here function and I am executing here. So now see what happens here. If when I write this, let me, okay. When I write this 10, what is happening? This 10 is getting printed and it is also executing function two and function two does what? It is also printing x and I am getting x's value two times that is 10 10 but what is the difference between this and this see this function was independent and this was also independently written so they are two different functions they have their own scope but here this function 2 is inner function of function 1 hence Within this function 1, you will be able to invoke function 2 and whatever is declared, whatever variables have been declared within function 1 can be accessed within function 2. Okay, so that is precisely why I am able to write print x and get the output here, but not here. Fine. So, that that is uh, what is uh, scope over here now let us go further and this particular this particular function is called inner function why it is called inner this is inner with respect to this function and this function one is called outer function why it is called outer because this is outer with respect to this function 
which is inner function. Okay. Let us take another example here. I have already written that and let us see. See that is function. I am defining outer print outer function outer x is 10. Here what I am saying define inner. I am saying print inner function and I am trying to access outer x. Why I am calling it outer x? Because that, that this particular variable belongs to outer. Now when I am invoking inner, which I can always do, I have defined and I am writing that. So what I will get? The output will be this, right? Outer function. I got outer function. Now this particular variable has been declared. Now this function has been declared. When I am invoking inner one, this function is getting executed. First line is what? Inner function. I got it. And then I am printing print outer x, which is defined here. And this will be able to access this very much. Okay. So it is printing 10. Well, that is clear. This we have already written. So that must be clear now. Now see here what happens. Here I am defining function 1 and I am saying I am func 1, right? And here what I am doing? I am defining func 2 and I am declaring a10 here. I have not declared a10 here, mind you. I have declared a10 within function 2. So now I am saying print I am func 2. So basically this line will get executed and this line what? I am a this I am declared inside function 2 so 10 is declared inside function 2 I hold the value a now what will happen this particular a will be replaced with the value of a that is 10 so it will print so far so good so let us execute this so I am executing function 2 all these things will happen right all these things will happen of course this will happen first because I'm executing func2. So when I will write func1, this line gets executed. This definition takes place. And when I write func2, func2, all these things will happen. Okay. So let me execute this and then, okay. As discussed, see first is when I'm executing func1, what is happening? I am func1. This has happened. Now, this definition has taken place when I am invoking function 2, activating function 2, it will say, it will declare a is equal to 10, then output is what? Print I am function 2. So, I am function 2 is happening and then the next statement, print statement is getting executed. So, I am getting I am a, I am declared inside function 2, I hold the value 10. This a will get evaluated to its value. Okay, that is the syntax. Now, this is called string interpolation. So, 10 is getting printed. So, when, so what is happening? When I write func1, first func1 is getting executed and this is getting defined and this func2 is getting invoked from within function 1. However, if I so let me let me not uh, disturb this let it be as it is i am going to do something else now here here what i will do here is everything is same but now this time i will say print a see this will throw an error as a is defined inside function 2 which cannot be accessed outside function 2 so look what is what is the difference between this particular block and this block here i only invoke func2 and func2 was having a within it so there was no problem now i am invoking func2 so whatever is there within func2 will get executed but i am writing print a this is the problem look this particular function 2 has got a 10 i am coming out of function 2 and if i try to access a it will give me an error it will say a cannot be read so you will basically get name error so let us see what happens here i will invoke i will invoke function 1 right so what is happening 
yeah when i invoke function one this line got executed i am func one good then this entire thing got defined and then this function after i have defined function two i am invoking function two so whatever is happening inside or whatever has been written inside function two will show up so this got declared well now this is the output i am function two good and this is the output right i am a i am declared inside function two i hold the value 10. so basically i am evaluating this s value over here okay i am replacing s value by writing this so that is happening but the so far so good so when i executed function two everything went smoothly but what i am trying to do over here is i am seeing print a now print a is defined inside function two it cannot access because this this particular had a been declared somewhere here i would have been able to access since it is defined inside the inner function inner function this inner function right i cannot access and hence i am getting error so this is name error it is not able to access a okay so this is the problem so this is what is the behavior of a nested function if you have a nested function whatever is there in scope it will execute whatever is not there in scope of any function for that matter that will give you error so here what is happening a is not here you are trying to access now you may say no a is there within it no the problem is a is there inside function 2 and this whatever is there inside inner function cannot be accessed within the scope of outer function that is the idea now let us discuss what is non-local variable see i have written non-local variable it can be accessed by the inner function what is non-local here non-local means when i am declaring this particular variable a10 here this is basically an outer function right outer function with respect to this this i will call it as inner function this is inner function with respect to this outer function this is outer with respect to this because it is defined inside this now see what is happening is this particular thing we have already seen i'm just repeating a10 can be accessed over here okay i have not declared a10 here i have declared outside and still it is able to access this particular function is non-local to function 2 if i write a10 then i will say this is local this variable is local to function 2 however since it is defined within the scope of outer function this a10 will be called as non-local variable and my inner function will be able to access it okay so how i can prove that by again invoking func function 2 we have seen this i'm just repeating it so uh, let me execute this now i will say func1 so what will happen when i say func1 i'm executing func1 so what will happen it will print this line first i am func1 then this line will get executed that is nothing but a is equal to 10 that is getting executed now this the entire thing will get defined only defined when i am writing like this that is function 2 with parenthesis this is getting invoked i will get this and this line will entire line will get executed and this a will be replaced with a value 10 and i will not get any error because this non local variable can be accessed by this function okay so what happened see when i am invoking this everything is happening smoothly as discussed correct now 
the most important part is this i am saying non local variable it can be accessed even when the outer function has exited look at it how it is working okay i have defined everything i have not changed anything and i am not i am printing a here we have seen but what i am doing additional thing is that i will exit from this this particular function everything will be gone still i will be able to access this and this is very interesting let us see it carefully what happens is the only additional thing that i am doing is i am returning object what object i am returning func2 i have defined this function to here if i write as i have written earlier function 2 well what it is going to do we have already seen right i mean this a is there non local it will be able to access it it will print there is no problem this we have seen let us see something new i am not executing it i am simply passing the object fun function 2 from this particular function so function 1 is not only defining function 2 it is also re returning function 2 returning function to nothing but the object is getting written so what will happen is when i execute this listen when i execute this what is going to happen i write x here just see what happens function 2 will get executed i will get func1 and this gets defined this also get defined right then the last line is return the object function 2 so basically my x here will have x is nothing but this is actually equal to func2 so i can write whether i write x parenthesis or func2 parenthesis it is the same thing right so let us see that but what needs to be seen over here is something very different let us first execute this so what happened when i wrote func1 got executed so i am func1 very nice this this i mean i i should have executed after modifying so i am func1 then this is getting declared that is fine i have only defined this function i have i am not executing it so my output nothing should come from here and i am returning this function to and when i write this statement this return statement is going to assign the object function to to x that means x is nothing but it is exactly what function to is so what i will do next i will say execute this fun now just see when i am executing this even outside function 1 it is able to access this a look at the beauty here not only it is able to execute function 2 but because x and function 2 are same so it is getting executed not a big deal but its ability to access which is not in the scope of function 2 even when function 1 exited is something very special and that is precisely what is called closure okay we will look at it again to make things clear but what you are seeing here is if i am executing x but in x but that x is what x is nothing but this is e this is the same object right this is the same thing so i am i am executing nothing deal but its ability to access something which is not defined inside and i am executing it outside of function 1 still it is working this is something special correct here what has happened earlier 
see here where is that function look here what is happening here i am invoking inner one inside outer and is able to access 10 that is not a big deal but here it is little different story altogether right here what is happening i have simply returned i have not executed even this returning returning thing when it is returned and when i am accessing when i am invoking this x, uh, x it is able to remember this though it is not within the scope of this and this is what is called closure this is something special okay so let me i have written some note over here what i'm saying function 2 can access the variable a which is declared within the enclosing order function right what is order function this is order function is func1 that is what is so even when the enclosing function has exited this phenomenon is and even when it is exited it is printing and this phenomenon is called closure as i said but you will say where to use the closure where is the need to do that why i should uh, use closure i mean well do i need it well you know what is happening is when you are outside of this and you are invoking func2 in this particular fashion by returning the inner functions object and invoking inner function from outside and being able to access what is defined within outer function right when you do this basically you are hiding this particular variable this is this is hidden from here right i mean it is not declared here somewhere here it is written and you are able to access so look at from this this particular area function one has got something i don't know but when i return inner function i will i am able to get this so this is this is the way you can hide your variable right look at this what is happening this function one has got a 10 b 20 c 30 so what is happening when when let me not write this i write two so what will happen here now i mean it it is fun let me remove okay now we have already seen nothing nothing new this is happening print space is printing all this has been defined inside this it is anyway it can access we have discussed again and again and again so 10 20 30 is happening right so what happened it not only got defined i am also invoking this invocation is getting me this output from this very good but what i have done i this is not there this abc is not here it is somewhere here so i have hidden abc from this particular function i have defined here it is able to access but you know what this is not a big deal everything is happening within this function one so you cannot say that i am hiding abc is there within its scope it is printing only when i will pass function two from function one and then invoke function 2 and see that this is accessing this so not only it is doing its task which is within the scope even it is doing the task which is out of its scope what is that something which is defined in the outer function that that is hiding of data this is not hiding of data so it's the entire thing has been written here and just see what is happening i am writing here not a big deal okay but i am returning function two correct i am returning function two and i am invoking just look x this x 
I'm invoking, when I'm invoking, it is not only writing, I mean, it's not only executing what is there within the scope of function two, it is also executing, which is not in its scope. It's beyond its scope. Where is that? The scope of ABC is within function one, but it is able to print, right? So see, I am func two, where is that? Oh, 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 okay. I am here. What X, right? Only X is no. Huh. So this is what it is. So this is a type a typo here. Uh, let me make it two. And this is what I was telling, right? So when I say X, everything is coming from here. Even this ABC, which is not defined with its scope. That is all about closure. This is what is called closure and this is why we use it. But if you have many variables, many functions, etc., we should not try to hide data. I mean, we have something called object-oriented programming. So let me do the same thing using object-oriented programming. So what I've done, I said class, my class, I've written func1, I'm saying print, I'm print func and it is printing one space, one line, then it has got 10, 20, 30 I've defined here. And function two, what I'm doing is typical object-oriented programming. I'm accessing A, B, C. So when I create an object of my class and when I write obj func one, so all these things will happen. And when I will say obj function two, when I'm invoking it, it will be very much, it will be able to access which is defined over here within function one, within this function one object, okay? So it is printing 10, 20, 30. So this is how we can write program, but we should also know what closure is all about, okay? So basically it sounds little different when we say closure, but the idea behind this, the word closure is very simple okay now let me put everything together so putting everything together through an example so what we can do here we will see nested function non-local variable it is returning uh, the outer function uh, through outer function it is returning the object of inner function and i will invoke inner function from, from outside and just see whether I will be able to access non-local variable from outside the scope of order function. So let me define it. So basically whatever we have seen, I'm putting everything together. So let us do this. This is nothing but a revision. So outer, okay, I will say x is equal to 10. I am not doing anything here. Okay. Of course, I can print here like this. x from inside of outer. Okay. So what I will do? x Now here, I will say define inner and here I will say print this entire thing I can copyright and make necessary changes here and I will say x from inside of inner function. From within inside outer function and here x from from 
within inside inner function right so i said i'm defining it should be able to access but this particular x over here is non local variable for inner one for this here x this is own variable so this is local variable so x over here this x variable so far as this line is concerned because this with this is inside outer itself so it's a local variable but this this very x here is non local variable why because i have not declared here 10 no it is coming from outside that is why it is non local and now last what i can do here i can say inner so what happens nothing we have seen it again and again and again and this is we are seeing for the last time so inner will get executed not a deal not a big deal because it will be able to access 10 right because it is defined so this this is able to uh, get x easily so no error will come nothing no problem so everything is happening as per the definition of scope but here just see return i am saying inner so when i say return inner what i will do let us see i say outer nice what is happening so this line has happened this got defined when i am invoking inner so second line is happening very good so what about this this has returned this particular statement has returned you the object inner here but what i have done i have not stored here anywhere so what i can do here when i am invoking this i should store inner's value somewhere i can give any name any name i can give right i can write x1 and then let us try to execute x1 but x1 is nothing x1 x1 is nothing but 1 more name given to inner function correct so wall so what it is doing x one parenthesis has invoked inner function and look at the beauty it is evaluating x value as 10 though this particular x is not at all defined inside it is outside so even when the outer function has exited it has got it has done its job and it exited still this inner function is able to remember what was non local to it and this is precisely what is called closure i hope these concepts are very clear now we have discussed every point repeatedly see what is nested function we have seen again and again what is non local variable what is closure why we should use closure we should use closure to hide data but if if there are few variables you can use closure but if you have many variables then it is better to use op object oriented programming before i before i uh, wrap this up what i can do is i will show you that even even i can access not only variable even i can access a function which is defined inside so look at this what happens here if i define def func i am func okay and i am writing here func look what modification i have done i have not changed i have defined another function which is within the scope of outer and i am trying to invoke it now what i am trying to prove over here is look when i am returning this inner object outside when we i will execute inner it is accessing x which is defined 
and which is non local variable is not local to it even it is able to access a function which is not defined inside this it is outside so it will be able to execute that also so let us see this okay now what i can do i will say outer it is it is returning something so let, let us store that as x1 and this time what will happen what is different as compared to earlier in, uh, example now it is going to invoke even this particular function so this is non local function to this right this is not local this is not defined inside it's outside so it will write i am func as well apart from doing what it was doing so this has executed this it is accessing variable it is also accessing function which is not within the scope clear i hope all these concepts are very much clear i mean you can write your own program and implement this concept it is pretty simple right i mean it's nothing uh, so difficult uh, we have to be knowing what is called what basically concepts are simple thank you for watching i will see you in the upcoming video.